a claim of right is an expression of your own personal understanding about who you are and what you have come to understand concerning the laws and re regulations here in Canada and how they impact you and your family, your loved ones. This expression must be built upon articles of law, whether domestic or international. For any claim to be recognized, there must be an operation of law recognized by the opposite party to bind the party to the claims being asserted. Anyone can claim anything. However, it does not mean that the claim is valid. For a claim to be valid, what is being claimed must be able to be proven. When we look to Black Laws, the ninth edition, under the word claim, it says the aggregate of operative facts giving rise to a right enforceable by a court, also termed claim for relief. The assertion of an existing right, any right to payment or to an equitable remedy, even if contingent or provisional. When we look in Black Laws, the fifth edition, to the word claim, it says to demand as one's own or as one's right, to assert, to urge, to insist, cause of action, means by or through which claimant obtains possession or enjoyment of a privilege or thing. When you look in Black Laws, edition 3, under the word claim, it says to demand as one's own, to assert a personal right to any property or any right, to demand the possession or enjoyment of something rightfully one's own and wrongfully withheld. Remember, we are dealing with a de facto power, and on top of that, the majority of those occupying these offices do not even know, neither do they understand, the regulations or statutes. Nevertheless, if we want to deal with what has transpired against us as human beings, as men and women, we must enter into communication with those sitting in these offices. It is more than likely that those who sit in the lower seats or the lower positions of the governmental bodies are unaware and are deceived concerning their own rights and fundamental freedoms. They cannot help you nor offer you any advice on your journey. In fact, it is you who will most likely be revealing to them something they are unfamiliar with. It would be nice if we could simply ignore the system around us and all the liabilities or obligations that we are facing as persons. However, that will not happen. The only way to establish what liabilities and obligations you will accept and carry is to claim this very fact. When your parents sign the forms with their registrar, they do not do so in the position of father and mother, because a person does not have a father and mother, only a human being does. They sign these documents under the title Declarant. Now I have other videos on my YouTube channel showing you exactly what has transpired on that documentation and how they are titled or designated Declarants and not Father and Mother. Now there is a person that has been created by law, that has been assigned, to your, assigned your name and attached to you, the human being. The artificial person is given certain benefits and privileges of a human being and it is treated more or less like a human being. Black Law's 9th edition states that an artificial person is an entity such as a corporation created by law and given certain legal rights and duties of a human being. An artificial person is a being which is real or imaginary who, for the purpose of legal reasoning, is treated more or less as a human being. The person in Canada is actually a mechanism of control a medium that was used to remove your rights and fundamental freedoms as a human being and to render you a subject and servant of Her Majesty and the de facto powers that operate now here in Canada. A human being is born free and can remain free. When we look in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 1, it says all human beings are born free. And in that same declaration in Article 12, we find that no one shall be subject to arbitrary interference with his privacy, family, home, or correspondence. However, you are not recognized here in Canada under the designation as a man or woman, a free adult human being. You are assumed and treated to be a person, a Canadian citizen, who is not free and owes allegiance to Her Majesty and the ruling political party in Canada. In the Canadian Citizenship Act, a Canadian citizen must state or is under this affirmation, I swear or affirm 
that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, and that I will faithfully observe the laws of Canada and fulfill my duties as a Canadian citizen. A person is not free, as a human being is free. A human being owes no allegiance to anyone. We see then that a person who is treated more or less as a human being and given certain rights and freedoms as a human being has lost its attribute to be free. Few people have been asking me what, what is this around my neck? They can't really see it. So I'm just going to show you. It says, a human with intrinsic rights. That's what it says. And I leave it around my chest area as a reminder. Now, other people are asking me about my bandana, why I wear a bandana. Because when you think about someone who wears a bandana, sometimes you think about someone who's rebellious and, and violent and, you know, let's go and get going, stuff like that. Uh, we are servants, and as servants we are made subjects and being held in servitude. And whether we're comfortable servants or not, it doesn't change the fact that that's what's going on here in Canada. And my life as a human being has been placed in servitude. And I'm not very happy about this fact. And this thing here is a way for me to express that fact and to always remember what's going on around me and to make me think about that very fact. Now, as you saw today in my video, us as human beings, we have lost an attribute because they rendered us a servant and a subject, placed us into servitude, which therefore creates bondage. So they placed our lives into bondage to their commercial system. This is what is transpiring. We as human beings do not have that attribute to say we are free and can be free. As legal persons, as subjects, servants, Canadian citizens, we have rendered our allegiance, we have pledged our oath to Her Majesty, and we have promised to obey her and her laws. This is not correct. There's many religious people who belong to a religion. And I'm not here to say good for you or bad for you. just want to show you a point. They go to the, into a religion and, and they're looking for salvation. And they're looking to be free. And they're saying, what I found now has saved me. When I die, I'm going to go into an eternal life forevermore to be with God the Creator and everything will be great for me. They don't want to be in bondage. They're taught that, they, that they've been living in sin, they've been living in bondage, that this world is against them and they have to live a certain way in order to be free, in order to please their God and, and to get salvation, if you will. Well, wake up. I mean, apart from religion, and I'm not trying to be rude here, look at what has, I've been sharing with you and teaching, with, teaching you on my YouTube channel. Look at what they've done to us on an individual level. No matter what religion you belong to, no matter what God you are serving, it's not going to change the fact of what's actually transpired against you here. It's not going to change the fact that you have still been rendered a person, an artificial person in law, that has been given certain rights and, and freedoms of a human being. That they stripped you of your humanity and they've rendered you a subject and a servant. It is a necessary step for all of us here in Canada, and there's 33 million of us, but it's a necessary step for all of us to claim our rights back as human beings, to send our documentations and our notifications to the government bodies, to let them know we understand what has transpired here. We understand what you have done to us and what you have created here in this country. And we're not willing to be part of it because it's corruption. Again, those on the religious uh, pathway in this, in this life, on, on the way that they're serving their gods, you're not supposed to be involved in corruption. Well, how can you stand for a fact that people in darkness, they've been rendered subjects and servants in, in hidden actions? That's corruption. No one's been given a choice. If you were given a choice, presented a choice, and said, will you render yourself a subject and a servant of Her Majesty? Will you be her servant and obey her laws? That's a choice that you're given. No one's been given a choice. You are automatically placed into subjection, into that bondage. That is corruption. 
and we must flee from corruption, in religiously or in humanity also. Corruption destroys. Corruption breaks down humanity. So about four years ago, five years ago even, I sent out a claim of right to the government agents all across Canada. And at that time I wasn't as knowledgeable as I am today. Looking back upon my documentation that I sent and the things that I claimed and what I was speaking about, I was maybe 60%, 70%, and I'm being generous because I don't want to look like I wasn't really prepared, but maybe 60% correct in the things that I claimed. And through the years I, I learned and through the years I understood what was going on, but nevertheless I did send out my documentation and I can tell you from experience I was wondering what would happen. The physical part of me was like, hmm, I'm wondering what's going to happen. I wonder what they're going to say. I wonder what they're going to do. Are the police going to come here? Because you hear stories <clears throat> on the internet. Not that I'm a nervous type of guy. I was wondering what the response was going to be. <clears throat> I can tell you something else that happened to me. After one week or two weeks went by or three weeks went by with no response. And then you send your, your next letter. You know, hey, opportunity to cure. You didn't, listen. you didn't listen to the notification that I sent you. Here's your chance to respond to me. Uh, Still no response. And then the final letter to say, well, listen, you know, I sent you three notifications. Now you haven't responded to me, so let's just say that we agree to what I'm expressing and we'll leave it at that. And we'll, we'll, we won't be in argument, we won't be in war, we won't be in conflict, and all things will be, will be good. After I did that, I started to really start to feel that freedom, to really start to feel that liberty. And you see the, the, the fruit of that liberty, the fruit of that freedom coming out through my YouTube videos. Meaning that I came onto the YouTube channel and I began to do videos teaching my fellow human beings here in Commonwealth countries, specifically Canada, but all Commonwealth countries about what's transpiring. It was wonderful to send my documentation. It was wonderful to send it to the Canadian, if you will say, structure, the, the monarchy, the government, and say, listen, I know what's going on, I understand what's transpired against me, and I'm not your subject, and I'm not your servant, and I'm willing to spend my life in jail to be free. And I'm willing, because that's what some of us think, you know, when we send these paperwork, oh no, bad things are going to happen to us, but what price are you willing to pay? But what I'm trying to say to you is that the liberty and the freedom, knowing that I exercise that right on my own behalf, without anybody having to push me, without anybody having to lead me, and uh, the real, the real, if you will say, blessing, I don't like to use that word because that's more towards a religious context, but the, the real fruit, the real benefit of having done this, I can honestly say was internally. I can honestly say was inside here and inside here because you're, you, you become liberated from the system that you were once fearful of. Regardless of the battles that you may have, Regardless of the consequences that you may pay for making that expression, you still become liberated. Because if you don't go forward and make that expression, you keep it here to yourself. And all the knowledge that you obtain or all the understanding that you obtain, it sits there in, in a neutral position, not acted upon. And it doesn't bear you anything. Until you take that step forward by, if you will, faith, and I'm not talking about religious faith, by saying, hmm, you know, I'm scared. What's going to happen if I send this? What's going what's to transpire if I do this? If, when do you cross that level and send that paperwork claiming the fact that you know what's going on and you don't want to be declared a servant or a subject of Her Majesty because you are a human being, you were born free, and you won't bow your knee down to another person or another human being. And if you are religious, why? Because the only one you should be bowing your knee down to or bending your knees to is God, whatever God it is that you serve. But nevertheless, they've twisted around to say, well, you know, you can serve your God religiously, but who you're actually serving here on earth is our our majesty here the queen and if you don't believe me then just go outside right now and try and break some of the laws that they've instilled and watch what happens they'll arrest you and they'll charge you in her name so don't be deceived that's actually what's really transpiring all around us it's just a wonderful beautiful experience to send forth your declaration to send forth your claim and to say listen I'm not your subject I'm not your servant whether you're still paying taxes two years down the road because you haven't figured out your, your, your way out of that, or whether you're still, you know, yoked to the system in certain ways because you haven't figured out all the, all the, the ways to make your, 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 
your freedom around it, it doesn't matter. It starts with a starting point of saying, listen, this is my claim, this is, this is what I accept to live under. Here's the information series. If you want to learn, it's new video series, Canada, American, all Commonwealth human beings claim some rights.